This review is on the Cyber Acoustics Digital Docking Speaker. As you can see right here, uh, a couple of things we're going to talk about is uh, how it works and maybe compare it to a few of the uh, other models in, in, in this price range, uh, or competitors in this price range. So as you can see it here, it's docked and charging my, uh, my uh, iTouch. It will also work because of adapters that you can put in with iPod Nanos, iPod Videos, and iPhones. Um, so that's a, a pretty nice feature that you have uh, quite a bit of a different uh, a variety. So we'll go into the uh, speaker and see if this is the right one for you. Okay, looking at the back of the unit, what you see is, one, it will hold batteries. So you can uh, take batteries with you. Um, so you don't have to be a, a slave to the cord. Um, some units are rechargeable, um, which is fine. But, you know, it does add a little cost to, to your performance at, at the expense of your performance. Uh, other things is it has a power switch here on and off and uh, an auxiliary input right there and what the auxiliary input will do with the, the cables that come included is that it'll let you use your iPod shuffle to uh, or anything that has a headphone output you can plug it into this auxiliary input and it'll play through the cyber acoustic digital docking speaker so that's a nice feature for a little bit more uh, flexibility in terms of sound I haven't heard the song, but it gives you a, a, an idea of the different types of bass it has. The speaker is actually a lot better than I ever would imagine it to be um, in terms of overall sound, both in, in bass response and crispness. Um, it doesn't give you any kind of ability, any type of ability to um, um, for equalizer settings and, and to kind of adjust it. Nor does it have a remote control, uh, which would be nice. Some of the other models do have remote controls. Um, your your um, controls here are at the top. They're very limited. Uh, the middle one is a uh, power on and off. So oddly enough, you have two power switches, and then more volume and less volume. Uh, another thing I'm not real fond of is that when it's playing, you've got a blue light, which means at night, if you have this in your room, you've got a blue light shining. So not not necessarily my uh, favorite thing. One of the things I mentioned I'd do is kind of compare the uh, Cyber Acoustic Digital Docking System with other competing products. Right here is a, a Memorex. Uh, docking station that you'll see a link in below um, in the review. This Memorex station will charge, just like the uh, Cyber Acoustics. Um, it has a clock in the front, which is actually almost pointless. Uh, it is not rechargeable. Um, it does have the auxiliary input like the Cyber Acoustics speaker. Um, in terms of audio sound or quality, I'm going to actually say it's probably about a half notch below what you're getting from Cyber Acoustics. The, the unit's a little bit more expensive. It's maybe slightly more affordable because it can be made flat like that and it goes into a carrying case so that's kind of a nice option to it if you're going to put it into a backpack um, but not um, not significantly better in any way and the sound quality is a little worse another thing option that people have uh, gone to is the uh, live speaker which is here the problem with the live speaker is the sound much worse So and it's it's nice because it is rechargeable. It work, operates through a headphone jack right here, which means that it will not charge your iPod. Um, it does have a, a, a ability to to turn, and I guess that's kind of nice. But it sounds more like a transistor radio than a uh, than a kind of a, a stereo. So um, it's not bad if you're going to listen to baseball games and so maybe podcast, or if you're watching movies on airplanes. It's it's kind of handy. However, in terms of it being useful for for music it really isn't so um, it's also a little bit more expensive it is completely rechargeable and probably considerably more portable but in terms of sound it just doesn't cut it um, so that leaves us with the cyber acoustic digital docking system okay finally i'm going to say this does come with a um, carrying case which is kind of a thin canvas not real elaborate not real nice um, it does have that. It does have a variety of these inserts, and it does come with, you know, which I haven't opened yet, auxiliary inputs. So not bad. Okay, the next thing I'm going to compare it to is the Alltech Lansing P612, which is much more expensive than the Cyber Acoustics Digital Docking Station. Um, in terms of sound quality, it's uh, it, it's not it's not really in the same league. It is less. It is. Um, however, this is. 4x in terms of price.
so it, it is much more expensive um, and, and room filling. However, Cyber Acoustics does do well. Now, if you're, if you're looking for a more of a full room system, this or the Alltech Lansing Boombox, which I'll also include a link on, are probably better options, uh, albeit much more expensive. Okay, final verdict on the Cyber Acoustic Digital Docking Speaker. I'm going to say four and a half to five stars. It would be better if it had a uh, remote control and if it was rechargeable, but the action might be a little bit too much to expect for this price point. What I, I will say is that uh, from the different competing, competing models I've used, it's probably best in class in terms of sound. So that is a, a, a nice feature to it. So uh, um, in terms of sound performance, you know, you probably... You know, relatively crisp highs and bass performance all the way down maybe to about 80 hertz or so so while it's not going to blast you out of a room it, it isn't bad if you're going to use this for maybe a dorm room or at your at your desk in your in your office this is a probably a pretty good option for you um, there are other things that are a little bit more portable um, so that might be a drawback if you're putting this into a backpack but uh, um, for kind of a general purpose uh, it, it probably is best in class